Friends, let me tell you all how, like, why I started, <laughs> how I started this, um, this diet. Okay, so right, I'm laying on the couch one day, I'm minding my business, I'm watching TV. So I, um, like the TV, it was an ad coming on, so like the, the TV screen had went dark. And when it went dark, I could see my reflection. And I was like, wait, why do I look, why do I look so big laying on this couch? So, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe it's just the screen, like it's distorted or something. So the show came back on, but look, it bothered me so much that I got up and I turned the TV off. So I'm in front of the TV like, wait, why do I look so big in front of this? Like, how much do I weigh? See, because like, I don't weigh myself like often. I usually um, like can tell if I gain weight, like if my clothes fit different and then if my clothes start to feel different, then I'd be like, no, I'm gonna look this way in this skirt or whatever, so I'm gonna lose some weight. Like, so usually that's the only thing, that's the catalyst for it. But um, but I got on the scale this time, got on the scale this time. And let me tell you something, y'all, I was so surprised. So this is my weight right now and um, yeah, I was so surprised. So that is a 20 pound weight gain, <laughs> 20 pounds. And if I'm being honest, I did not even know. So yeah, as you can tell from the title, this is the end of day one of this cabbage soup diet. And I'm going to tell you guys all about it, but just to prove because wait a minute, yeah, I'm going to be coming back here it is 9.56. Thursday, April 6th, and that is day one. So, to prove, that was just to prove, because I'm going to be coming back here every um, every day. I'm going to be doing seven days. So, that was my beginning weight, and then you... Yeah. Hi, friends. Welcome back and welcome to Dress With Me. If you're new here, I am Tiana. If you are not new, thank you all so much for continuing to watch. I do not know why I opened that up with a clap. I don't know. I'm just always giving myself a round of applause, like all the time. But anyway, let me tell you all, like, like I said, like I was so shocked, but you know what? I know why, like I get, besides eating the food, I definitely do know why I gained the weight and I know why, um, I really didn't realize it until real recently when it came to my clothes too, like I realized it, but I know why it's because, um, for one, like I, I work overnight, right? And so I would lie to myself sometime and be like, you know what? I'm going to just eat dinner before I go to work. I usually work from six to six or um, seven to seven, seven P to seven A or six P to six A. And, um, and I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to eat before I go. So I'm not just eating junk while I'm out on the road, you know? And I don't know why um, packing a lunch for me seems to be this big gigantic like incredible feat that I just cannot master and I do not know why because the food is in the kitchen and most of the time the lunchbox is in my hand so I I don't know why like I can't really get into the packing lunches I think I've done it maybe like like once or twice so I don't know why for me that's not even a thing so um when I go to work I, like I said, I'll lie and um, I'll eat dinner beforehand and I'll tell myself that I ain't going to eat no more anyway. So I'm good to go. I already ate. So when it gets to rolling around 9, 10, 11, and I'm halfway like fighting sleep and all this stuff. Now I'm like, you know what I am? Hungry. Like, <laughs> you know, so there you are. The only thing that's left open is all of the bad stuff. So then there I am like getting pretty much another dinner and then I'm getting stuff to kind of like stay awake whether it be like um a soda I don't drink energy drinks but whether it's like a soda or just a caffeinated drink or like something like to stay awake so I really do think that adopting those terrible eating habits eating in the middle of the night eating definitely the wrong foods in the middle of the night my second dinner of the night you know like it just all it all added up you know, and the reason why I didn't realize it from my clothes is because lately I haven't really been doing anything. Like I haven't been like going out or anything. So I've only been going to like to work. So I just be walking around the house in like leggings and stuff. And you know, leggings fit everybody and you look good in leggings most of the time. Like 99% of the time you look good in leggings, <laughs> Like you know? So I'm thinking like, oh, I look just fine. It didn't even cross my mind, you know? Um, but look, real, real recently, right, I went and got some um, new work pants and they were the same size as the ones that were kind of like worn out. And y'all, like, those work pants were so tight on my stomach that they was making my stomach hurt. So then I'm like, I'm 
must be just so bloated. What is this bloat? What is today's date? You know, because I'm a girl and that matters, you know. I'm like, what, what is today's date? Because why am I so bloated like this? Why does my stomach hurt? So I put it off on, like, just on that. But then, like, after a while, I realized, like, why are these pants so tight on my thighs, though? Yeah, I couldn't even barely bend down. And that's what I was thinking, too. Like, oh, man, that reflection, that reflection, it was the truth. It was the truth. And, um... Either I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to roll with it. Or I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just get back down to the size that I'm more comfortable with. So I decided to get back down to, to my size. Now, um, this will probably be one of the most um, realest, maybe one of the most realest diet vlogs that um, you guys ever seen. Because I'm going to tell you right now that today was absolutely terrible. It was terrible. So, okay, the reason why I even chose the cabbage diet is because I seen a girl on here. Okay, so first of all, I typed in um, quickest way to lose um, weight gimmicks allowed because I did not, I don't care. Like, you know, like I'm not looking for no, no big gigantic, like make it last forever type thing. I'm not. I don't know why that I'm not because I don't want to just keep going on diets and diets. Like, but still like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm looking for the quickest way, the quickest fix, and that's what I'm after. Um, so I seen where a girl on here, and I forgot her channel and everything, um, had lost 14 pounds in four days doing this cabbage diet. And I'm looking like, what magical cabbage is she eating? Because I already eat cabbage, and uh, here I am. And so... I'm like a what? So I'm like, let me let me watch this because this is unbelievable. And when I say unbelievable, like I don't mean unbelievable in that she was lying or anything like that, but unbelievable in um I can't wait to do it. And Lord, if you have this for me, please, please, please give it a 14 pounds in three, four days. Because I really would appreciate it. So Anyway, so what she did was she got the cabbage and she just got a bunch of veggies that she liked and made like a soup, like, you know, and just made a broth. And she was also promoting like some um, diet drink. So she was promoting that. So she was drinking that too. I didn't really listen too much to that because I just feel like if you're promoting something, I don't know if it really works or not because like it's an ad pretty much ad within the video. So I don't really know whether it, you know, it works or not. So I was more focused on the cabbage because she wasn't being sponsored by the cabbage. So she made her soup or whatever. And she said, you had three bowls a day and um, it's hearty, it's filling. And like, you know, like you're going to be okay. And like, it's going to be fine. And you are just going to watch the weight fall off. So the cup, it's a couple of lies in that. Well, lies for me. For one, um, it was not filling. And I mean, it is not filling. Um, see, because vegetables must also be diuretics or they must also like just help your, your gastrointestinal system out. Like that's what veggies and especially cabbage. And I heard that cabbage was like 90% water or 80% water. And it is. And the thing is with water is that once your body has received enough of the water, it goes ahead and tell your kidneys like, yeah, this is extra. We'll need this. Let's go ahead and urinate this out. Like it's disgusting that I'm pointing down. Like everybody don't know where pee come from. So sorry about that. Like, you know, but um, that's what your body is going to tell your, your um, urinary system to do. So once you go and you urinate and trust me, you are going to be running to that bathroom like you didn't had about three, four bottles of water and your body just can't take it no more and it got to come out. I have never been to the restroom so many times in one day, I feel like in, in my whole life. And when I go there, it's not like a trickle of urine. It is a lot of urine. See, but here's the problem with that. The problem with that is, is that after you eat it, like, you know, you eat all your veggies, you eat the cabbage, you drink the broth, you're fine. You're fine until you're done going to the bathroom. See, because like everything then, you know, pretty much turned into water, your body took what it needed, it flushed everything out. And remember that like, it's no fats. Like it's no fats in cabbage. It's no fat. Because in my cabbage, I put broccoli in there trying to make it filling. Like, you know, so I added broccoli and, you know, it was in the broth and, 
and all of that. I don't like like onions and all that stuff going in there because I feel like it just gets too soggy too fast. So I didn't have that. So I just had cabbage and broccoli. And um, yeah, I, I had a bowl and about an hour and a half later, y'all, I was so hungry. I was so hungry that I was trying to remember what do I eat on a daily basis? Like what in the overeating am I doing that like I can have like this bowl of soup and an hour and a half later, I'm starving. Like what am I really eating? Like what? So I was like, okay, like it's okay. Because even though she was saying three bowls, like in general, like you can kind of eat like as much as you want, because again, it's a bowl of veggies. So you know, I had like another bowl, but it was like the same thing, like all over again. So look, I didn't want to go too crazy with the bowls of soup because I'm doing this for seven days. And this is the only thing that's on the menu, cabbage soup, you know? So like, if I'm going to eat like five, six, seven bowls in one day, by the time day three came, I'm, but you know, by the time day three come, I'm going to be somewhere throwing up cabbage because I just can't even keep it down no more because I didn't have 15 bowls by now, you know? So I'm like, well, that's not going to work. I'm just going to see like how bad it gets. Like, can I just tough it out? Like, you know, so like, especially like going out, because again, I, I'm not thinking like if I have the cabbage soup and then I run out to the store and stuff, I'm not thinking I need like emergency cabbage on me because I'm going to be starving so fast so quickly like you know like but like yo low key like you do but um so i was like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wait it out and see yeah i'm talking about starving star you almost can't even do like your regular routine because you just the the calorie burning that's coming along with just you living just you breathing like what i'm doing now moving my arms talking burning calories just being alive is taking up every single calorie in that soup and you are immediately in your reserve calories and you are trying to just you're burning you're burning you're burning through that and trust me you are starving so if you hear somebody say like oh you'll be fine the fruit the fruit the soup is so filling like you're going to see like it's going to be so much easier so much easier. no 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 it's not it's not easy um and I didn't, I'm not going to do, I don't know what my weight is. Like, I'm going to wait until like the end. And I'm telling y'all, if I don't lose like 13, 14 pounds, y'all, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad because I'm having this soup every day, every single day. And, and here's the thing I'm having a problem too. And um, I'm about to waste some money, I think, but it's not a, a big waste of money. Um, So I made a big pot of soup, like, you know, like hers, because yeah, it is easier just to go and like grab it, especially when you feel like, you know, you're ready to eat, you go grab your soup, you have that. But uh, what I didn't factor in was the fact that I never had soup that's just sitting in broth, you know, and that soup got so soggy. It's like, you don't even got to chew it. That soup was soggy. So I, I couldn't get that down anymore. I couldn't get that down. So then I started just making every you know every bowl like the way you would do like anyway so like be mindful of that that a lot of people make a big stock of it but if you don't like um like soggy foods or if soggy foods um bother you like i know for me like if i'm eating cereal i gotta eat it quick because once that cereal is soggy it's trash I, I can't do it so like if you were like me then like you're gonna have to make your bowls separate as well because it just gets it gets soggy so quick um, so like that was, that was another thing. The second thing, you know, the second thing is that, no, the first thing is that it's not filling. It's not filling at all. The second thing is the texture changes extremely. It goes from like your crunchy firm soup to, to baby food, to baby food. And then like the third thing is, is that like, you're supposed to just be drinking like water, but Again, think about like the bathroom, like, no, drink your water, but um, think about like the restroom because again, cabbage itself is like 80 to 90% water. And I, hopefully I'm correct because I didn't look this up, but I think I heard this before. And then it's sitting in broth, like, you know, so, so you got broth, you got the cabbage and you got your liquids that you're just drinking because you need a liquid. So when you're out running around, be mindful of like where the restrooms are because like you're going to be running back and forth to that, back and forth. And then it was another girl here on um, YouTube who was doing it and she got diarrhea 
And I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad I didn't get that. So, like, my goodness, God forbid you get diarrhea. Like, because then how can you run any errands? Like, how can you even really stay on the diet? Because the way I run to the um, bathroom to, um, to urinate, I couldn't imagine that being diarrhea because I would be like, I quit. I quit. So I think for today, like those are um, the top three things that like to really just like prepare for if you are going to um, like have the suit. Oh, another thing is, I mean, like this may affect like everybody like uh, differently is that like you are not um, you are not like super tired or anything like that like you're not like fatigued and like super tired but you're not as food is fuel and when you minus um a lot of food like to this degree you really do feel like an energy drop you really do and that's why like if you're going to do this diet please know that it is like a huge sacrifice and you may not like you may not want to do it but I want to try it. I want to do it just as a kickstart. Like, I want to tell my body that, like, we're not eating all of that food again. So, like, instead of, like, I want to reverse, like, my body. Like, so instead of um, my body telling my brain that, no, we're hungry and we want um, cakes, pies, anything sweet. We want, you know, sandwiches. Like, we want all of that. Like, I want to reverse my body to be like, yeah, like, no, like, we're still not, we're still not hungry. Like, you know, like, we don't, we don't need all of that because for seven days, like, I didn't have all that. And I was eating way less calories. And then, like, you know, because what happens is, and why you lose when you are doing a low calorie diet, and that's what this is, like, you know, when you're doing a low calorie diet, you lose because you end up burning the low calories that you ate, but then like you're still up doing stuff. So then your body will go into that fat reserve that's already there and it's going to start burning that fat and in order to fuel you. Because again, food is fuel, but if you're not putting fuel in, it's going to go, your body will fight for you. Like, you know, so it's going to go to the fat you have and it's going to burn that. So then in turn, like you lose weight. Now, I know that a lot of people were saying, oh, we're not, they wouldn't do it. I mean, I don't know. But it was some, um, on somebody else's video, the comments was like, oh, that's, you know, that's silly because it's just water weight. And as soon as you get done with it, that weight is going to be back. It's just water weight. Here's how I look at that. For one, to each his own. Um, for two, if the word water is followed by weight, that's what I'm trying to lose. That's what I'm trying to lose. Wait. And if water is added to it, I'm fine with that. Because if, like that girl, if I can lose 14 pounds in like three or four days and that was all water, I don't need that much water. I obviously don't because if I need it, my body would have kept it. So if I lost 14 pounds of water, goodbye. Goodbye. And I hope to never see you again. So when it comes to water weight for me, go, go ahead. Whatever weight works, whatever weight works. So I'm, I'm fine with that. And, and also when it comes to, like I said, I'm doing mine for seven days. She stopped at four because she has such a big weight loss, you know, but I feel like, um, if I lose about, you know, in seven days, seven days, about 11, 12 pounds, 13 pounds. And if I gain it, um, back for one, after I'm done with like, I feel like this is a fast. So, but after I'm done with like this fast, I am going to be mindful like of how I'm eating. Like I'm not going to have seven days of like cabbage only losing all this weight, feeling better, but you know, because I lost the weight. I'm not laying on couch looking like a true potato anymore. Like, you know, I done lost some inches. It's coming together. I don't think I'm going to run and grab me like a chocolate pie. I don't think that I am going to do that. And mostly because not only have my weight changed, but the see i'm be trying my best not to do all medical stuff but like but also my body is not telling my brain anymore that we need that many calories to survive because now we don't because the weight that used to be in me that needed all those calories they're not there anymore so i am not as hungry as i was before unless i look at it and let my eyes decide that you know what? I lost the weight. I can afford it. And I'm going to eat that cake. Because if I went seven days without having all this excess stuff, I think I can keep I can keep going. So I know for me, if I do lose a substantial amount of weight, um, 
for one, like if I'm if I'm losing pretty good, I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep going with it. Like I'm gonna keep going with it. Oh, I have started like taking some vitamins though because I don't want to have no deficiencies. I don't want no headaches. I don't want like nothing crazy. So I know that I'm not having like protein. I'm not having fats. I'm not having that stuff. So I'm gonna just take a vitamin while I'm doing it. But um, I know that um, if I am gonna be losing with it, I'm going to keep going. And then how I'm gonna you know, get myself integrated back into like a regular diet is like super, super, super slow. And then like, maybe I'll just keep some stuff away, like some stuff away, like some food groups. Like maybe I won't eat like as much bread anymore because if I can go all this time with no bread, do I really need like a roll, a biscuit at breakfast, like a, a hoagie for lunch, and then like this bread with this. And then like, do I, do I really need it? If I could just straight up just have cabbage for seven days like maybe i don't maybe i don't so like i just think that i'm going to be mindful and i'm not going to say that i'm that you know i'm not going to gain like anything back but i surely am going to try my best not to because after this is done i don't think i ever 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 want to eat cabbage again so i'm going to try my best to maintain it 100 percent and then i also think that i'm going to feel so good at like my skirts and stuff like i'm it's going to feel good I'm look better in my clothes, like better according to me. So I think that I'm going to try my best to keep it off. I would show you all like a body shot, but ironically enough, I guess I'll stand up here in a second, but like ironically enough, I didn't necessarily see, besides when my work pants didn't fit, I didn't necessarily see like a huge difference in my body. Like how do you gain 20 pounds and don't really see like, that weight must have just diffused everywhere. It diffused everywhere. It just divided itself up accordingly. It, it evened out and said, you know what? We belong here. We've been here before. We've been here before. It's not strange to us. Let's just get to where we belong. And everybody just, all the fat just got in place. It all just got in place. And um, that was that. Because like, I didn't, I don't feel like it's a huge like body change. But like, let me show y'all a little bit because I, I ain't got on nothing but just my jeans and stuff but like i feel like y'all do i look bigger i don't know maybe i do look bigger and i'm just lying to myself i don't know like see like my jeans are still like big you can't really see my legs and i don't feel like moving this camera but like I, you know what? i just really don't know i don't know my stomach is still kind of like the same Y'all, I don't know at all, but um, y'all see the scale. So <laughs> whether I know it or not, it's here, it's here. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be, have numbers this high. And only reason why for me is because I'm short and um, I feel like I always want to give my um, self like room to grow because gaining weight is normal. Like, it's normal and you know so like I want to give myself like room to grow like give myself like that five ten pounds like to play with but at 167 mm -mm, I don't have nothing to play with go sit down I don't have nothing to play with put the fork down because you ain't got nowhere to go so like I don't I don't want to so ultimately and it's not going to be just with the cabbage soup but like i said the cabbage soup is like just my starting point like just to get out the gate and just to like let my body know like i said unless i'm super losing because if i'm super losing i'm gonna stay right here i'm gonna stand on it i'm gonna be the cabbage representative because i'm gonna keep eating it oh i was gonna tell y'all what i'm going to do because i don't like all that soggy soup and here's the thing what i'm also realizing is that i'm not really a, a good cabbage maker I'm not like my cabbage is mediocre, but then I was always thinking like, you know why? Because I don't really eat cabbage like that. Like I eat it, but not. And, and I guess when I do eat it, somebody else make it. And then like the cabbage I was eating, because I used to be making like egg rolls. I was frying that cabbage and putting it in my egg rolls. So then that was different and that wouldn't constitute the diet. So the only way I was making cabbage was the unhealthy way. So now that I'm making it the healthy way, I don't really know what I'm doing. And, um, it's not tasting all that great, but there is a Jamaican restaurant here and their cabbage is amazing. Amazing. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go and get me like 
a big pan of their, because they do catering. So I'm just going to get me a big pan, like a half a pan of just their cabbage. Because like I said, their cabbage is amazing. Now, I don't know how many calories is in that cabbage because, of course, because it's amazing, it makes you feel like this is not, it. you know, maybe, you know, oh my gosh, I'm just now realizing like, you know, that cabbage probably got so many calories. This cabbage is probably not good for the soup, not the diet. You know what? That sucks because all the way home today, I convinced myself that tomorrow I'm going straight to that restaurant and I'm going to go ahead and get me that cabbage. But now I'm sitting here, as I was going to say, I think I did say it tastes amazing. It's amazing. And you know why? It's probably because the sodium levels is out of control. <laughs> like the seasonings are amazing. It's probably cooked in like some type of smoked meat. Like, you know, like they didn't did, they didn't did everything to it. So that's, that's why it's amazing. But this bland with nothing but earth, earth, that's what's making you lose the weight. And, um, I've been messed around and went on ahead and gained the weight just eating that cabbage. <sighs> oh, well, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to suck it up and just make my bland. Bl well, you know, I can't say bland because I definitely know how to season. Like, and just, just have my cabbage and just do it bowl by bowl and just, just get it done. You know what, girl? Worried about all the flavors and stuff is the reason why you in the position you in right now. Girl. Eat the bland cabbage and shut up. I got to talk to myself like that sometime because I'm telling you, that's why I'm in the situation that I'm in. That's why you is 167 right now because you out here and you then took this foodie thing too far. Before you was enjoying the food, now the food is enjoying you. So get it together. Start it from the top. But anyway, guys, this is the L. And just to tell you all, this is day one. This is the end. I have been up since 7 a.m., I had cabbage all day up until about 30 minutes ago. So I had a half a turkey sandwich because I couldn't take it no more. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But tomorrow is another day. It is another day. And I'm going to try my best. I'm right back at it. I'm going to try my best to have cabbage all day long. Not, you know, later on when I said I didn't have enough. Then I'm just going to find something else. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. When I feel like I haven't had enough, it's going to be too bad. Go to bed. Go to bed or get you another bowl of cabbage. That's it. That's it. But today, I just finished a half a turkey sandwich, um, and it was amazing. I don't, I didn't have turkey a million times before, but tonight, that turkey, it was like a different kind of turkey, and it was amazing, and I, I had that, and now I'm about to go to bed. So, yeah. I was thinking about exercise because I felt bad by having a turkey sandwich, but I'm not. I don't feel bad anymore. I'm comfortable with it. And I'm about to go to bed. But I will be back here tomorrow. Now, y'all, if I don't lose no weight tomorrow, I'm not going to show y'all anyway. Because I'm going to just be like, adding, if I don't lose no weight tomorrow, then you know what? It's going to be because <laughs> of this turkey sandwich that I know good and well I shouldn't have ate. You know, my body didn't grab on to all those unhealthy calories. Said, no, no, no. This is what we want. Let's hold on to this fat. So we'll see. I'm going to get it together, y'all. It's like I said before. This is not about to be. Y'all, this is the most amazing diet ever. You'll love it. You're going to do it. I feel great. No. No. I was starving. I was starving. And um, in a word, in a couple of words, I don't feel great. I don't feel great. Not at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I wish I had the other half of that sandwich, but I do not. And I'm glad that I don't. And so I'm about to just go to bed. So I'm going to end this little diet vlog right here. I'm going to end it right here, and I'm going to go ahead and get my life together. And then, yeah, that's that. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And if I come over here with an attitude tomorrow, it's because I ain't lose no weight, and I'm eating cabbage all day. But if I come over here and I'm like, all right, child, then y'all know that weight, we're going the right direction. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see how it goes. Until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.